we've got our two external pitch backpackers tent so we got two of them here and uh, we're going to compare these two in the storms All right, so this one here, we have a Ozark Trail, $30 tent from Walmart. So it has a fiberglass pole, just one main pole, then it has a smaller diameter fiberglass pole, ridge pole. Pulls up the sides. So the tent material is not waterproof. However, the seams are taped sealed. Let's see what we can see there. You can see the tape on there. So this tent is single wall construction. Okay. So it's just single wall. We have a roof bin up there. This tent is a little wider than the other one. So we're 32 inches wide on this tent. So that's a pretty good width on a uh, single person so this tent did weigh 3.68 pounds and <clears throat> it only has one guy out point and that's the back back here and it's attached to the uh, roof vent well not really a roof vent but the vent so I'm not sure how uh, how sturdy this tent's going to be up against uh, some high winds. Alright, so let's take a look at the tent that's going up against. This is uh, Jack Wolfskin Exolite 1 tent. These retail around $330. I did find this one on sale. I think it was 125. Sometimes you can find them on sale, but uh, normally it's a $330 tent. So this $330 tent is going to go up against the $30 Walmart tent. <laughs> so they're pretty similar. They're both external pitch tents. So the Jack Wolf skin has DAC aluminum poles and has the hub system and it comes down on the wishbone on both ends. So it really stretches out the tent a lot more rigid. This tent is a lot more rigid than the, the Walmart tent. Let's see, I'm gonna move it back and forth with my hand there. So it does have a ridge pole as well. And if we don't have a vent, we don't have ventilation up top, but we do have this lower ventilation, so that will uh, increase some airflow into the tent when it's hot and stuffy. Now this material is waterproof, and the seams are tape sealed, and we have four guy out points on this tent. So four guy out points versus one guy out point on this one. So let's go ahead and grab this one and move it around. Yes, yeah, pretty flimsy. So I think the Jack Wolfskin has a little bit bigger vestibule versus the Ozark Trail. And it's kind of kind of flutters around here pretty good it's uh it's hard to get that completely tight 
this one flutters around a little bit too so this clip here is so if you want to move this piece back it clips up to the pole here like this one over here okay so this tent is a two wall construction so basically you have the tent body which is uh no seam mesh <clears throat> and then you do have a bathtub style floor waterproof floor material and then you have also have the rain fly so the, the tent body connects to the rain fly these little loop and toggle you just keep those <clears throat> always connected and then when you erect the tent it erects everything all at the same time so now this tent is a little bit narrower than that Ozark trail let's see what we have here we have we're about 25 inches so I think we had 32 inches over there or 33 25 so that's a uh, quite a bit wider than this one so we have a little uh, when we stretch out that back side we have kind of a small vestibule back here so that's kind of cool you can put your shoes back there through this little window so you kind of get a uh, two vestibules there so also the jack wolfskin has a uh, double-sided zipper so you could uh, unzip the top for extra ventilation if you wanted or if you want to cook in the vestibule now the Walmart tent does not have a double two-way zipper it's just a single zipper it's gonna be very interesting to see how both of these tents hold up to the strong winds heavy rains uh, pretty much anything that the this thunderstorm is gonna throw at us these two tents are gonna be out here taking the brunt of all of it so the Jack Wolfskin is uh, my favorite brand of tent and uh, <clears throat> this tent weighs 2.62 pounds so under three pounds and it packs the pack size is 18 by 4 and the pack size on the Ozark Trail is 22 by 4 and the Ozark Trail is just under 4 pounds at 3.84 I think it was so just under 4 pounds just under 3 pounds so which tent you think is going to do better the $300 tent or the $30 tent from Walmart so I picked that one up from my local Walmart right off the shelf for 30 bucks this one I had to shop around for because I wasn't paying $300 for it I had to shop around I finally found it for 125 ah uh, so the storms are out west and they're tracking this way uh, there was an F2 tornado in that storm in some large hell so somebody got a video of the tornado out there in uh, Sterling City Texas so just out west uh, so west is right behind me you can see all those dark clouds that is a storm that's coming so hopefully we don't get any tornadoes here but these tents are going to be out here for whatever that is going to throw at us so that's it so i'd like to give a big shout out to my neighbor ken he uh, provided me with these lights these are pretty cool lights a little solar connected to a string got two two strands of them out here it's pretty cool. Let's check them out. All right, let's get these lights turned off. It's supposed to rain, I mean, like all night, all day tomorrow, like the next three days. It'll be interesting to see if there's going to be any water in these tents when we come out here.
the edge of the storm is just now getting here. So I'm in the uh, Jack Wolfskin Exolite one person tent. Say we can get up to 55 mile an hour wind. That's a lot of wind. And these stents are facing right directly in front of the storm. Starting to rock and roll. Staying dry in the Jack Wolfskin tent. We need to get out here pretty quick and uh, run to the Ozark Trail tent. We're going to uh, <laughs> jump out of here and run over to the run over to the Ozark Trail tent. It's up to 55 mile an hour winds, but it hasn't been all that windy yet. They made 25 to 30 mile an hour. All right, let's see if we can head over there. yet not too bad So, you see in that corner there, they're starting to get a little bit of moisture coming in. And that seam, I'm in the Ozark Trail tent. So far, it's not too bad. It's, uh, these two back corners, there's a little bit of moisture coming in. Other than that, other than that, it's not too bad so far. I think most of this water I'm seeing on the front side is from my jacket coming in. But 
Well, I was supposed to get a heavy rain throughout the night, so. And then tomorrow, we got a lot of rain coming. A little less wind than what we had when we were in the Jack Wolfskin tent, but this one's flexing around pretty good, even in the lesser wind. Okay, we're in the Ozark trail tent and uh, quite a bit of rain overnight. But we do have a uh, leak here somewhere. You see water kind of flowing up in the bag. That's not for me coming in, I'm way over here. So it might be coming from this seam where this pocket is, maybe. Yeah, I see water right here. So it's like the water's transferring through and then dripping off of this, this pocket. Well, so far, I'm really... Uh, Kind of shocked and surprised that this tent is not full of water. We got a few other little spots over there, but uh, nothing major. Last night, storms kind of disappointed. They really didn't. Uh, it didn't really rock and roll like I thought it was going to. And the weather channel on our local newscast, they, uh, man, they were like, it's gonna be 55 to 60 mile an hour winds. Hail, and it already produced a tornado. By the time it got to uh, our location, that big squall line, that big red cell, is kind of broken up really good. We had a small red cell pass to the north and then one through the south. We kind of were right in between all that. So kind of a moderate thunderstorm last night and uh, same this morning. Moderate thunderstorm. But uh, I'm kind of kind of pleasant pleasantly surprised with this Ozark trail tent so far. So one thing I want to, one note I'd like to add real quick while we wait for these uh, more, intense, more intense storms to come in. 
it is a lot easier getting in and out of the Jack Wolfskin tent than it is the Ozark Trail tent. It's the way the door is shaped, being such a smaller tent. Uh, the Jack Wolfskin, here let me show you. So the door kind of swoops out to the side and then up. I don't know, they just allowed more of my right shoulder when I'm getting in to get in. When I was getting in the Ozark Trail tent, it's just a traditional door here, see? Traditional straight cut. So when I'm getting in there, my right shoulder is catching on the right side of the vestibule. And uh, I just it was a little bit more difficult getting in and out of the Ozark Trail tent. And as far as opening the door with a zipper, the zipper catches every time on the zipper flap on this Ozark Trail tent. The, uh, the one on the Jack Wolf skin, it seems to stay out of the way. I don't know if it's because of the cut of the door. It just kind of keeps that flap in place better. I don't know. But on the Jack Wolf skin, I'm able to just zip it up, zip, zip it up, zip it down real easy. I do have issues with the Ozark Trail just catching a couple of times. So you have to back the zipper back off, get the material out of it, and then you kind of have to use two hands. Jack Wolf skin, I just, you can, you can do it real easy with one hand, but I mean, that's not, that's not the, a huge deal breaker, but just one of the thing, little things I noticed. And I do like that uh, being able to adjust your tension on your tent, like your vestibule or your stakeout areas. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. So as, as your tent gets wet, it starts, the, the tightness of the tent will start to change. It'll start getting a little bit looser. So you need to make a little bit of adjustments. It's nice to be able to just grab the strap and pull it tighter to make an adjustment. So on the Ozark Trail, you're not able to do that. If you want to get it tighter, like I'm about to do, you have to pull the, you have to pull the ground peg out and then reinsert it. So it's it's a little easier with the jack wolf skin. You just grab that strap and just pull it and get it a little tighter. So when you pitch these tents dry, then you want to keep all those tie outs loose and pull it out as tight as you can and stake it in. That way as the weather changes, the weather gets a little or the air gets a little more wetter, you can start cinching that down. You have that room to cinch, start cinching down. Those art trail, you don't have that opportunity to do that. You have to just take out the stakes. See, we got uh, quite a bit of play here now. That was tight when we put it in. So we're going to take the stake out and just pull it back about an inch or so. Or try to anyway. Rain's picking up again. Let's take a look around us. So nothing crazy looking. Just typical Texas storms. What I like to call moderate. So this is the leading edge of it here. And we're getting a lot of rain. Non-stop rain. Let's check out our pond out here. Driveway. All these little ponds are starting to make one big lake. Yeah, 
we're looking for some fish to eat. You bet there's gonna be a lot of displaced fish after this rain. You easy to find them. You usually find a lot of displaced fish after uh, big rains like this. And when it starts to subside, I'll come out here and get a bucket, start picking up fish that got get themselves marooned, and then uh, throw them in the pond. Flowing pretty fast. Let's check on the tents. See how dry they are, or if they're dry. The Walmart tent was leaking a little bit earlier, where that pocket was sewn into the side. Let's take a look at them. Give them a little shake. the color of these tents I like the colors I like the jack wolf skin it's kind of a different kind of blue in that lime green poles kind of cool looking those are trails not a bad color blue and gray all right which tent shall we look in first let's look inside the jack wolf skin Looks dry. All those water spots you're seeing are underneath the tent. So let's uh, tent is still dry. You can see the water that I brought in this morning over there still. I brought these towels, put them out here so I could drop the water when I brought them in. But, uh, so far this tent's staying dry. Well, let's see how the Ozark Trail from Walmart is holding up. Give this one a little shake as well. Okay. Oh. This tent is harder to get into. A little harder to get into this tent. Okay. Oh man, we got a lot of water in here. Okay. So yeah, that uh, water continues to leak in where that pocket's sewn in. But we've got a lot of water spots all along the tent here. I mean, I'm surprised it's not worse than what it is, but I'm very surprised it's not just uh, soaked in it. Well, this towel is really wet. I know I sat on it earlier, but... You know, I'm kind of surprised by this Ozark Trail tent that there's not a whole lot more water in here than what I'm seeing. I mean, this, this is a fail, but not like a catastrophe fail, you know. I mean, this little $30 tent's holding up to 
I think we've had about four inch, four inches of rain so far. This tent's been in. We're we're due for another four to seven inches in the next two days. So. This uh, material is really, really soaked. All right. All right. Here's where this tent's kind of hard. You gotta get your fingers out here. Try to anyway. There we go. Yeah, this material is looking pretty looking pretty uh, absorbed with the rainwater there it's looking pretty saturated this one here is performing normally this tent material on this jack wolf skin is not as robust as their normal Jack Wolf skin tent lineups. This is their ultralight version. The so material is uh, a lot lighter weight, but so far nothing's getting through it. Haven't had a Jack Wolf skin tent yet that leaked. I'm very surprised by the Ozark Trail. Not bad. Hey, thanks for watching Life with Colonel Lee. I do appreciate you following along. So we didn't quite get the storms that I hoped that we were going to get. I mean, the Weather Channel kind of, well, I mean, they can't predict, you know, everything. So they did the best they could uh, in preparing us for what they thought potentially was the worst. So we got about half the winds that I thought we were going to get. I, that's what I really wanted to see was the winds. I wanted to see those tents, you know, handle 50 to 60 mile an hour winds. And I think we just got up to 35 mile an hour winds. But I think we got a good honest test out of both of these tents. The $300 Jack Wolf skin versus the $30 Ozark Trail from Walmart. Uh, the Walmart tent uh, did have a fail, but it wasn't that bad. Uh, the tent, the material was water treated. Uh, initially, I didn't think it was, and I had to go back and do a little bit more investigating on it, and discovered that somewhere, in some fine print somewhere, they actually mentioned that it was uh, waterproof. So it was waterproof. It did hold up pretty good in my book. I mean, it still was a fail, but and of course the Jack Wolf skin is rock solid. Nothing's getting through that. Uh, Anyway, uh, here are some displaced fish that I found. This happens every year. This time, go ahead and give my video a like. I sure do appreciate that. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and do so. Subscribe and hit the bell. That way you're notified of future upcoming videos. Happy camping.